Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms. In this session, I shall explain a branch inbound technique to solve the traveling salesman problem. Mainly here you need to look into this method that is the technique that is used in order to solve the traveling salesman problem. Traveling salesman problem is earlier explained in one of my previous sessions wherein I am using the exhaustive approach there. Now the same problem we have to solve it using the branch and bound method. Branch and bound is a method for a state space search algorithm and it is used for optimization problems. It solves partitioning a problem into sub problems that is branching it and solving these sub problems to the optimal level and using a bounding function to eliminate sub problems that cannot contain the optimal solution. In branch and bound method you divide the problem into sub problems and you solve these sub problems and whenever you see a sub problem which is not going to lead to an optimal solution then you need to you need not explore that sub problem you need not explore that node you need to proceed with a node which, which is going to lead to an optimal solution so basically what it does is here when you have sub problems like sub problem 1 sub problem 2 and sub problem 3 then you will use some bounding function to eliminate the sub problems that cannot lead to an optimal solution whatever bounding function you are going to apply to these sub problems and once you apply the bounding function to these sub problems sub problems will get eliminated that means you need not explore those nodes rather you go with only that node which is going to lead to a optimal solution so let so these points will be much clear when you solve an example here so the problem will be given in this manner you have you will be given with a graph and this graph denotes already you have learned the traveling salesman problem so the graph denotes what the graph has got vertices and edges and each of the vertices represent here a city and this city the salesperson has to travel from one city to another city suppose if he is starting from city a he has to visit all other cities b c and d and he has to come back to the city from where he has started that means he has to come back to city a but while visiting all the remaining cities he has to choose a path with minimum distance given will be the details in a form of a graph and you need to apply the branch and bound algorithm to solve this traveling salesman problem so let us solve this now the solution says that first you need to calculate the bounding function and that bounding function is denoted by the lower bound lower bound how do you compute to compute the lower bound for all the cities i between 1 and n you need to find the sum si how do you find sum si sum si of the distances from city i to the two nearest cities so compute the sum s of these n numbers divide the result by 2 and if all the distances are integers round up the result to the nearest integer to compute the sum si for each city you are taking what you are taking the two routes which has got minimum distance okay for each city in the graph you are going to select two routes which has got minimum distance for example if there are cities a b c d then you are going to select two edges from a two edges from b two edges from c two edges from d which has got minimum cost on the edge add those numbers and divide by 2 you will get the lower bound so that lower bound is the one which you are going to use here in order to eliminate sub problems which are not going to lead to the optimal solution in the solution the first thing you need to carry out is compute this compute the lower bound value lb lb is equal to s divided by 2 so how do you compute s for each vertex in the graph now you have vertex a vertex b vertex c and vertex d okay a has got how many edges a has got three edges that are coming out a to b is 2 a to d is 7 and a to c is 5 out of these values 2 5 and 7 2 minimum you need to take 2 minimum is 2 minimum values here are 2 and 5 so you take 2 and 5 for a which is equal to 7 and similarly for b if you try to select two edges b has got values 2 8 and 3 out of these three 2 and 3 are minimum so 2 plus 3 equal to 5 next for the vertex c there are 
values 1, 5 and 8. Out of these 3 values, 1 and 5 is minimum. So, you add these and you will get the value as 6. For the vertex D, the numbers are 1, 7 and 3. So, out of these 3, 1 and 3 are minimum. So, you will get 4. Now, you got 7, 5, 6 and 4. So, those values you need to add. These values you need to add and store it in a variable S, yes, which is 7 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 which is equal to 22. Now, compute the lower bound. Lower bound equal to 22 divided by 2, which is equal to 11. So, you have computed now the lower bound value 11. Now, for this, you start parallelly the state space tree by writing the root node in this manner. You can write down node n0, the vertex is A. Now, whatever lower bound value you have computed initially by considering all the four vertices, it is for the starting node A. So, you can write here LB equal to 11. Now, you have started with the vertex A. Second level, you are going to see that what will be the values if A, what will be the values if the traveling salesperson is traveling from A to B or A to C or A to D. So, three more possibilities are there. For all these three nodes, you need to find the lower bound. So, we can write like this in the state space tree. Now, second level what you are doing is, you are adding one more vertex for the root node A. If he is visiting the next city as B, then write here A comma B. And the node numbering, you can do it as N1. Similarly, if the person is starting from A, but the next city getting visited is C, what is the lower bound value? Likewise, if the starting city is A, but the next city that is getting visited is D, what is the lower bound? So, this you can take it as N2 and this you can take it as N3. Now, whatever lower bound value you computed earlier, it is for N0. Now, you should start computing for node N1. So, let us compute for node N1 now. N1, how to compute the values? First, start writing all the vertices or cities here you have four vertices a b c d so n1 is what n1 is a to b first step is you simply write all the city names like this a to d now you are computing for what a to b so for a you have to select two edges with minimum cost so a has got now two seven five now you have to write down first for a and b how do you write for a and b is you just check here A to B on the graph. A to B on the graph, the value is 2. For B to A, it will also be 2. So, first you finalize one cost here, 2, 2. The other one you need to find from the remaining two edges. So, for A, you have 2, 7, 5. Out of that 2, you have finalized. Now, out of 5 and 7, the minimum is 5. Similarly, for B, 2 you have finalized because B to A is 2. And for B, the remaining 2 are 7 and 3. The minimum is 3 in this. So, you will write it as 3. Then for C and D. See, you are computing for the node N1, which is A to B. So, for C and D, you need to take the values from whatever you have computed earlier. C is 6 and D is 4. Now, add this 7, 5, 6 and 4. So, the value for node N1 will be what? LB equal to? 7 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 divided by 2 equal to 22 by 2 is equal to 11. So, for node N1, you got the value as 11. Now, you are carrying out for node N2. Node N2 is A to C. First, you write down A, B, C, D. Then A to C from the graph is how much? A to C from the graph is this 5. Okay, A to C. If you look here, A to C is 5. If A to C is 5, C to A will also be 5. So, 1 edge cost you have finalized the remaining one you need to check here a has got 257 5 you have already selected out of 7 and 2 2 is minimum for c you have already selected 5 the remaining uh, the remaining edges of node c are 1 and 8 out of that minimum is 1 now b and c this b and c, b and d sorry b and d b and d you need to take from the calculations which you have earlier carried out so b is 5 and d is 4 
so b is 5 and d is 4 whatever initial calculation you have computed you can write down it as for node n0 now compute the lower bound for node n2 it is 7 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 22 divided by 2 11 so a and c you got it as 11 now we will compute for node n node n3 is what a to d first thing is you write down all the numbers a b c d a to d from the graph a to d okay here is d here is a a to d the edge cost is 7 so a to d is 7 means for a you write down 7 and for d also 7 so one edge you have finalized b and c you can take from the node n not calculation here so b is 5 and c is 6 and the remaining edge for node a and d you have to note down from the graph which is minimum that you can check for node a uh, you have taken 7 out of the remaining 2 5 and 2 2 is minimum for node d you have taken 7 out of the 2 minimum 3 and 1 1 is minimum Three seven plus 2 is how much 9 7 9 plus 5 plus 6 plus 8 divided by 2 28 divided by 2 14 you are getting so you can write here 14 now this tree whatever you have written up till this stage the first level you have completed now you need to go to the next level because see now the traveling salesman person can select a to b a to c or a to d out of these three two are minimum a to b and a to c because 11 11 and 14 so he can choose 11 11 of a to b or a to c but we'll start exploring first n1 n1 if we try to explore we can say that the traveling salesman person can start from a to b then he can take the next city as c but remaining will be only one more city that also you can include in the this city d will be the only remaining and, and he has to come back to the starting city a so we can include in the next level itself the remaining two cities similarly if he is choosing the path a to b the next city he can choose is what d first time he has the option for c a b c or he has the option of choosing a b d and if he is choosing a b d the remaining will be what only c and he has to come back to the starting city so this way you need to compute now n4 and n5 after you explore n4 and n5 check which is minimum and then proceed further if you see that n4 and n5 is having a value greater than n2 only then you need to explore n2 until then we will not take a decision of exploring n2 first we are going to the depth level of the first node then we will backtrack and come to the next node in the previous level so node n4 you need to compute n4 we have included all the cities a to b b to c and also we have written d to c to d and d to a all cities are there so here you should not in compute lb lb is not applicable lower bound is not applicable here when you are including all cities in the given graph you have to calculate only the length so not the lower bound when you are including all the cities in computing the node value you need to find out the length here okay not the lower bound lower bound you are indicating by lb length you are indicating by l now you compute a to b a to b what is the value a to b is 2 b to c is 8 and c to d is 1 d to a is 7 simply add the cost on all the edges how much you are getting 15 16 17 18 18 is the value so that to 18 you have to write here okay you can write down l equal to 18 compute now node n5 n5 is n5 is also having all the cities included a to b b to d and here you can see we have included c also d to c and c to a a to b is how much a to b is 2 b to d is how much from the graph it is 3 d to c is how much 1 c to a is how much 5 add this 8 9 10 11 you are getting 11 so lower bound equal to 11 here you got 18 and here you got 11 so now you check which is minimum here you have 11 and here you have 18 so definitely what is that you will prefer you will prefer this only 11 because this is the minimum but at the same time you should not forget that you have to backtrack and see is there any node in the previous level 
previous level any value which is less than 11 we have here equal to 11 okay and here we have greater than 11 definitely greater than 11 we don't want node n5 value is 11 so other than that is there any other node in the previous level which is having a value less than 11 at this point we have lb equal to 11 which is equal see equal is also not preferable at this stage because the value is already 11 when you try to explore further when you add up the remaining cities definitely it will have a value greater than 11 so that is why this is not the solution so we can write down here this one we are not considering the solution the reason is lb is greater than or equal to l l of node n5 and lb in next node n3 also we are not considering because lb is greater than l of node n5 so now this is the optimal solution so this is the optimal tool so finally you can write down the optimal tour for this sale, traveling salesperson is a to b b to d d to c c to a and the tour length is 11 so this is your final answer i so hope it is clear to you all you are not considering n2 because n2's lb value is greater than or equal to l of node n5 you are not considering n3 because lb value of n3 is greater than l so for you in the next level only you got this as the optimal tour n equal to 11 so the traveling salesperson has to take up this path a to b b to d d to c and c to a so in this way he has met the requirement he has not missed any single city also and he has taken a route which is going to give him minimum distance he has not missed any single city he has traveled all the cities in the tour and also he has traveled through a minimum length tour only so this is how you need to carry out the solution using the branch and bound technique and this branch and bound technique is not going to make you explore all the options if you compare this with the exhaustive approach which you have already solved in the exhaustive approach what we have done is we have checked all possible options and computed their distances and then taken the one which is having what the minimum value here instead of calculating the minimum distances for all possibilities we are exploring only those nodes which, which are going to lead us to an optimal solution and that is possible for us if we try to compute a lower bound on every node and then proceed with the nodes which are having only minimum lower bound values this way you are going to reduce the time in order to compute the solution hope, hope you find this helpful Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye and take care.